welcome back. <clears throat> My kids are in the other room fighting over pretend cupcakes. <laughs> so if music comes on, you will know why. It is, uh, we have a heat advisory today, so it is too hot to be outside and everybody's just a little bit crouchy from um, the heat and being cooped up inside. So it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to do a paint bomb today, and this is a lid from my nonstick spray. I get a nonstick spray from Aldi's, and it has this little compartment in the middle, so it's kind of fun. Um, if you do not have one of these on your um, nonstick spray or on your hairspray or anything, you can get cups like these on Amazon, so I'll link to that in the description bar. Um, they're just kind of fun to do. So I'm going to do gray as my uh, paint bomb color because I don't know it's kind of fun a lot of people are painting with gray we have a gray ish um dining room and it's it's I think it's kind of a neat a neat color for um decorating so I thought it might be kind of neat to have a painting on the wall with gray paint as like the focus okay where'd my little thing go here it is focus <laughs> <laughs> that is something I need more of. <laughs> so in this little center, I have purple, teal, and this denim blue. And just, I'm going to use just a little bit of this green. <laughs> My kids are out there just making all kinds of racket. I don't know what they're doing now. Now there's happy voices, so they're, they're playing. They're just in the other room. It's not like I'm leaving them unattended. And my 15-year-old is out there, so. You know, I don't have kids running loose. They're just very loud today. But we just had lunch, so hopefully everybody's a little bit happier. I might put a little teal. I'm going to try and overfill this just a hair bit. I want a little more teal in there. See how high I can get this without making a mess. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do the gray. The edges. I do not have any silicone in the gray. Everything has Floetrol. And um, water and a little silicone except for the gray. The gray is just paint, Floetrol, and water. And I've noticed as it gets hotter... I'm getting more, ooh, yeah, that made a little bit more of a mess than it usually does because I overfilled it. That's okay. It'll be a little bit more like a flip cup, but that's all right, too. Um, but anyway, as it's gotten hotter this summer, I've noticed I've had more um, uh, goobers in my flow trawl than I normally do. <clears throat> I normally don't have any problems in the winter time, but now that it's hot, it's just... I think it just dries on the side of the container and then forms, forms goobers. All right, flip. All right, sound effects <clears throat> always help. If you're new to pouring, add sound effects. It makes your pours that much better. <laughs> just kidding. It makes it more fun. I thought maybe the cat was in here. I was hearing some noises, but. Okay, so I've got a little teal. Why? Because I love this color. This color is a combination of phthalo green yellow shade and phthalo... No, not phthalo blue. Cerulean blue. Cute. There go my dogs. Our neighbor dogs like to come over and make our dogs bark. So, this has been sitting for just a minute because I had to go and see what all the ruckus was about. Make sure there wasn't anybody at our door. Ooh. Pretty. Okay. I'm going to torch this. Where's my torch? more in there. Okay, I'm going to put 
some gray on the corners. So I don't have to tilt too much. I might fill in with some turquoise too. That teal, we'll see. I've noticed with this heat too that my cells have just been kind of it's like they're hot <laughs> falling apart. I'm I maybe needed to adjust my mix for the summer. I don't know. We usually have hot and dry, and it's been hot and humid here, so um I think that's affected things. Ooh, but this is really cool. Let's just keep going with that. Because like I said, the hot the hot and humid, or the hot and dry, um, I didn't have any trouble with anything. But this hot and humid, man, it's, everything's kind of going crazy. I have to set my painting down on something else because I've dripped. Okay. This is a little bit, whoa, a mess, but I like this over here. So, let's swipe. Hang on, Coop Coop. You want in, Cooper? I want you cupcake. Oh, I'll have a cupcake when I come out. Okay, I'm gonna swipe from this edge. Oh, hang on. My, my three-year-old's trying to give me a fake cupcake. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Because I do love cupcakes. Not so much fake ones that I can't eat, but, you know. Okay, I have this string sitting here, so I'm going to pull this through. I was going to use a swiper, but um, I used this fat yarn. Oh, if I can get it. There we go. I used this fat yarn the other day on something, thinking I could do like a string pull, but with fat yarn. But it, it really acted more like a swipe than a yarn pull, since it was so fat and heavy. So I'm just going to use this, although I see it doesn't sit well. Not do a straight one though. There we go. Ooh, that's fun. I kind of like that. Okay, where's my torch? You know, we're getting cells popping up, so I'm not going to torch because I like these cells that are popping up. And if I torch, I'm just going to get um, some crazy ones. It's a little bit more subtle with that gray, but it's kind of cool. And if you put that at the top, it almost looks like it's raining. Kind of like your windshield when you go to the uh, the car wash. Let's do some close-ups. Okay. I really kind of like this. It's more muted, which is kind of neat for a little more subtle painting on your wall if you don't want something that's quite so bright. I love this over here. I love that little crinkly stuff that it did. I would have been happy with that all over. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Your favorite cupcake, just for fun. Let me know in the description bar what your favorite, or in the description, in the comments, what your favorite cupcake is. Let's just all be hungry for cupcakes together. <laughs> okay, and we'll see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.